Hi guys, my name is Alex. In this quick tutorial I'm going to try to explain to you how I created this aqua effect in Stargate. Uh, I made this one for my Facebook profile. I modeled the Stargate uh, and created some 3D text in After Effects and added some image in the background. But in this tutorial I'm going just to show how I created this uh, ripple aqua effect in Photoshop. So first of all I'm going to create a new document, size 800 but 800. And I'm going to create, uh, duplicate the, uh, the base layer by dragging it down to create new or pressing Ctrl J on the keyboard. And then just go up to Filter, Artistic and Sponge. Here you can set up uh, different uh, settings. By changing it you can see how the, how the texture changes. This will, this will create the ripples on the surface so this uh, affects the size of the ripples so when you're satisfied just click OK and then we are going to add some brightness and contrast we're going to set this up down to minus 100 and this up to plus 100 and then we're going to select both by holding Control and clicking Control E on the keyboard to merge them together now we're going to save them, same file save as, and just save it whatever you want. Name it and save it. And we're going to create another document that is the same size as this sponge texture. And we're going to create a new layer and create a ecliptical marquee tool. Use ecliptical marquee tool and I'm going to just use these rulers to help me find the center of the document and then just holding shift and alt I create a uh, perfect circle and then just going pressing G on the keyboard selecting uh, gradient tool and I selected these two colors uh, they should be the same color or just uh, different uh, different how should I say intensity of the color? So then just click holding shift, drag, release, control D to deselect everything and hide the guides. Now with this layer selected, I go up to filter and select distort and glass. And this window pops up and here in the texture you won't have anything, it will be probably nothing and you should go here and click and load texture and then just find the texture that you created just a minute ago. Save it and open it and then it will show up in your preview. Uh, then here you can set up the magnitude of the distortion and the smoothness of the distortion. The more smooth, the more the more blurry it gets. So I'm going to go for this type, this type of uh, blurriness, and pressing OK. This is the first step. Then I just duplicate it and set it to soft light to make it a little bit darker. And on the bottom uh, layer, I just created an inner glow. Uh, just make it a normal. Now we are going to multiply it and we are going to increase the size and maybe decrease the opacity. Then uh, what you can do is go back to your uh, aqua sponge uh, texture and then just go to uh, pressing W or going back to magic wand tool and just clicking on one of these white uh, parts making sure the contiguous is not set on and then just control J to duplicate it 
by having selected this layer just select the uh, select tool click and drag in your uh, file that you created this uh, effect and holding shift and letting go it will center it perfectly and just control click on this uh, layer so the selection is created and on this layer just click on create mask and then just delete mask hold, uh, pressing uh, delete on the keyboard oh no no not pressing delete on the keyboard uh, pressing here on the what is this trash can and it will ask you if you want to apply or delete this uh, mask and I will apply it now I'm going to set inner glow make it a little bit darker and make it a, a, a normal or no and we're going to increase the size a little bit and we're going to set it to soft light again and we're going to decrease the opacity now we can add another mask and just uh, selecting the brush that is kind of uh, si uh, circular and has hardness by zero and then we just go and whoops that was not the right brush uh, this kind of brush and just uh, delete the edges or hide the edges with the mask I normally use mask because you can uh, go back and make some other changes so we're going to decrease some more and now for the final stage I'm going to duplicate this pressing Control J on the keyboard and I'm just going to delete this uh, mask and I'm going to set it to normal and back to this and then just going to create another mask and I'm going to uh, mask it with this kind of uh, brush that is going to make some interesting mask masking on this uh, layer so it's really good to have some different brushes to speed up your work as you can see here and now I'm just going to go to filter blur Gaussian blur and I'm going to blur it everything a little bit and then just uh, going up on the under effects I'm going to turn off the inner glow and click on the outer glow create normal select white and then just make it a little bit bigger and then I'm just going to decrease the opacity now this is not uh, exactly the same uh, result as we can see here but the technique is the same so you just play with these settings that you saw me doing here and you can end up with something like this or anything you want just making sure you follow these steps so this is pretty much it for this tutorial uh, remember to subscribe to my channel and check out the rest of the videos if you like this video please share it with your friends and till next time bye